Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. This one takes an interesting turn. Um, this is something I've never seen before. No, no, for real. This race has things I've never seen before. Check it out. Hello friends, uh, we are back in the Arkham and Art series uh, here on iRacing. I'm going to run here at USA International Raceway. I believe that's where we're at. And uh, I this should be the only race I need to do to get back to my A license. So hopefully in the next coming weeks we can get, into, uh, get back into the next gen cup car. But nonetheless, we are here and we did not qualify that great. So we're just going to we ride around and see what we can make happen. It's going to be a caution, uh, no cautions in this race, or in this series. So it's going to be just about avoiding everyone else's incidents. So we already got a car up the track. Don't want to get run over, don't want to run over anybody else. Just pacing. Pacing ourselves. Not, not pace laps. <laughs> But setting good, strong expectations for ourselves and hoping to be there at the end. Maybe maybe get a really good finish out of it. As you can see, we're already getting a bit of a bottleneck here. Everyone runs the same setup in these series. Uh, the only thing you can really adjust is your steering offset, uh, brake bias, and I believe you can change your steering ratio. Alright, 11, I'll let you go. Still there. I'm not trying to force Still any there. issues here. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. P15. Still there. Clear on the inside. Let's let the 10 go too. Get right back into it. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content we've been putting out. Um, really appreciating the views on these iRacing videos. Of course, 16th place. they are all I participate in between the, the Euro Truck stuff uh, for the time being. So it's really nice to see some views over here as well. Hope you're enjoying the content and I hope that you will like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. It has a major impact on what we're able to do going forward. And we have a car on top of us. Clear on the inside. High side is clear. That was kind of fun, Kyle. <laughs> that was so weird, I was interested to see how long that would stay with you up there. That would have been interesting. <laughs> I have never seen that happen. Never seen that happen. That is crazy to me. <laughs> Absolutely mind blown. Also, whoever ran into me from behind when there was like a good 20 seconds to slow down, I'm not sure what you were doing, but would have appreciated a little more patience. That's definitely going to be a hindrance to our uh, to our I rating. That much is for certain. Or sorry, to our safety rating. Probably won't hurt our I rating at all. Let's see, do we have a fast repair? We do. If this thing starts overheating, we'll take it. If not, we're just going to ride it out and turn as many laps as we can. Um, but we don't need fuel, so I'll turn that off. If we do go in, it'll just be for the fast repair. Now, let's see how we're looking on our relative screen. Is that the leader behind me? No, that's Kyle Sizemore. That lap was a 22.3. Car high. You're clear on the high I'll let side. him go. I'm obviously struggling here. 
car no longer has the speed that it did. Crazy off the pace. About a second a lap from where we should be. Something to do with the front caved in, I guess. That would do it. I'm interested to see what I can accomplish from here. I mean, we're currently running 17th. Looks like the 18th place car is still on the lead lap as well. The leader is absolutely flying. He's got a four second lead on the guy in second right now. Um, that's pretty stinking quick. See, it's still got some speed in it on exit. I just can't maintain it down the stretch. It's also not able to quite get into the turns as much as I want. See how it's not really redlining? This car actually redlines a little before it should with the setup that they have in it. So that tells me that I do not have the speed that, that I should have. I no longer have the power or the aerodynamics or whatever other elements are messed up. You know, there might be some suspension components and whatnot there too. The guy behind's really new end. The gap's now 2.1. And this is just, just part of it. Sometimes you gotta... Sometimes you have bad luck happen to you and you gotta ride out a bad race. That's what we're going to do here today. We're already a lap down. It's not going to get better. I would say we're probably going to finish probably two to three laps down. Um, that's just par for the course, you know. It's uh, you take the positives, you take the negatives, but in moments like this, it's just about saving what you can save and salvaging whatever you can of your safety rating and your I rating. And, Right now, we're running 16th place, 15th place, and we're the 16th ranked car. My spotter says 15th. He's wrong. According to the game. Um, but we're ranked 16th, and we're running 16th. So as a couple more cars fall out, we have an opportunity to Still there. gain some spots back. Still there. And maybe even gain a little I rating. But the one thing we can control... There large degree is our safety rate. So that's what we're going to do. Try to gain as much as we can there. Carlo. Hold your line. He's still there. You're clear inside. You know, I really feel like a lot of that was Carlo. not our own doing. Carlo. Hold your line. And that we can't inside control. Clear. Got a car inside. Hold your line. Yeah, we will give these leaders here and stuff the lead lap cars. We'll give them lots of space. He's still there. Clear inside. The gap in front is now 1.0. Thanks, Evan. Ah, no worries, boys. Just trying to limp home. <laughs> Get here. It'll probably be a couple more wrecks. 16th place. You've just done a... Yeah, as long as I'm not in any more of them. Just came in here for the safety Most rating, but... Really new the gap's now. That didn't happen. Thank you, mate. That lap time was 22.5. This car is getting exceptionally, exceptionally tight right now. Very hard to turn. Car 
car low. 17 clear low. We do continue to fall back here a little bit. Was a 22.8. I'm going to give this guy the ball here. So let him roll his corner. See how he makes out. There's a car inside. Okay, Evan. Halfway home. Fuel's good. The gap to Moser ahead is now 1.2. Hold your line. Clear low. I feel like car inside. He's still there. You're clear inside. Car low. I'm gonna give him a little more gas Hold than that line. if he wants to get by. Hold your line. Up, up a time. little higher, give inside. you a little more clear. space, I guess. Thank you, sixteen. That was clean racing. Alright, I'm just I'm just rolling around here letting everyone go. Still there. Trying to make laps. Down low. That lap was a 23.0. So appreciated, man. Absolutely. 17th place. Sorry about that nudge, six. That was hard on the break. Car inside. He's still there. The gap to Moser ahead is in clear inside. It's clear. Car low. Hold your line. Clear low. Good news is, it doesn't look like my temps and stuff are too messed up, so we should be able to bang up most of these laps here. As the leader's catching us again, there's only one more car between me and the leader. He is on the move tonight, for sure. I dare say, I probably would have got lapped in this race, just based on his speed, I probably would have got lapped in this race anyway, even if there hadn't have been any damage. But... The pace at which he is lapping me. That lap time was 22.6. Really impressive. Really well done. The gap to Moser ahead is now 4.3. He's obviously put in the work, I guess, is, is what I'm saying. That was a 22.5. Oh. On the high side. Thank you, Brandon. Clear outside. P16. Well, I've dodged that bullet. That was the most scared I've ever been coming out of turn. Technically gained a spot. I don't think it'll oh, last long. Thank you for that. Clear low. Four laps down, he's trying to pass me on the corners. It was a really aggressive corner entry that I had on the, on the turn. Well, I think it was on this turn last time. All right, Evan. No, it must have been turn one. It was really aggressive. I know we're technically racing for position here and, uh, and all that stuff, but. Just bide your time. You don't need to push it like that. That was really aggressive unnecessarily. Put both of us in danger. Um, for no real gain. He's clearly quicker than me. 
And if you're not quicker, that dive just makes you even slower. Takes life out of equipment that doesn't need to have life taken out of it. Just a really weird... Oh. Uh, you got a car on the low side. Uh, I'm gonna give up still 17s here to the 10 cars. Well, he just came off a of pit road, so he's probably probably 100 percent. No sense in fighting a guy like that when you're limping around, you know. Now, had I made, I could have made a. Uh, decision there, I guess, to pit and, and get repaired like he did, uh, and hopefully the best. But I'd probably be now two laps down. <laughs> Which I guess I'm going to be here in a moment anyway. Michael is just flying. The pace he's got is very impressive, especially in. Sometimes you'll see situations like that in the lower splits in a open fix setup race where everyone has their own setups and and uh, a lot of times setup you know some setups are way better than others and, and you see a discrepancy there but let's see what happens here um, but to see that uh, to see that in a fixed setup like this it's pretty impressive. Um, it's obviously a very, in front is now very skilled driver with this particular car and track combination. It's good for him. I always like to watch guys like that. Watch their line, watch what they're doing. Still there. The low side is clear. So if you watch here, he drives in quite deep P17. and lets it coast up the track. And then when it grabs, he dives down exit and he actually has his wheels turned a little bit to the right because he's got the car sideways on exit very impressive car on your low side and Brian that's past me right now was just saying a few minutes ago how thanks again Evan hold your line low side's clear uh, you're not technically by me yet there you are <laughs> um he was saying a few minutes ago how he couldn't drive his car anymore. The gap to Moser ahead is now 2.8 seconds. Yeah, he is struggling. That handling is not there anymore on that car. Which is not a surprise given the condition of it. be interesting to see if we can gain any more positions from here. We've only got, I'm going to say approximately, we're two laps down, so we're technically at 48 of 50, so we've got three laps left um, right now, 40, 49, and 50. It'll be interesting to see if there's any, any gain here at the end of this race as far as positions. There is a lot of spread out cars right now. But these last couple of laps are going to be... Very well could be what get me my A license back versus what keep me from getting my A license. That Moser guy up there, he was racing really aggressively even with the leader. One more to go. And for no real advantage, actually no advantage, the only benefit that he could get from racing the leader that hard, if he were to get his second lap back, um, would simply be that he could run one more lap, which could benefit him in safety rating, but if he bumps the leader out of the way to do it, I doubt it's going to. Okay, we're done. Good win, Michael. That was a pretty dominating performance. Yeah, congrats, Michael. Wow, thank you guys so much. Just stomped the hell out of all of us. Five second gap, just a P2. Yes, everybody, uh, enjoy your Sunday.